Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and we're back in a wheat field. It's the spring of 2017. Awesome! This is a great wheat field. And you know, the one thing that people have really learned in Ontario is as we've cleaned up the atmosphere, the pollution that we put up there, man, the sulfur out of the diesel fuel, and bingo, we need sulfur. So now the big question is how much and when? Sulfur is different than nitrogen. With nitrogen, we worry about loss. We put it on too early and, and we can denitrify. Interestingly enough, sulfur doesn't work that way. In Ontario, we can't apply sulfur in the fall though, because if we apply sulfur in the fall, it will leach out over the winter. So it really should be a spring application on wheat in particular. Alfalfa, fall sulfur is fine. Wheat, fall sulfur does not work. So we're in the spring. What about if we're split applying? Do we put it on first application or second application? First application or both. If you're using ammonium thiosol with 28% and you want to blend the two together and just have the sulfur in there, put it on both applications, that's absolutely fine. But the first application is the critical application. Why? Wheat needs its sulfur early, plus whatever sulfur is in the soil, it becomes available by the bacteria, the, the enzymes and the bu bugs in the soil, and they're not working right now. It's just way too cool. So that first application is key, or put it on in both applications, or if you're only doing one application, it's one application. Last question, how much? Well, in the plant, in the protein, we need one molecule of sulfur for every 10 molecules of nitrogen. Some agronomists would say, well then put on you know, one pound of sulfur for every 10 pounds of nitrogen. Yeah, I'm not in that camp so much because we still do get some from the atmosphere. We might as well take advantage of that. But what we've really learned is that 10 pounds. We don't want the wheat to go sulfur deficient because if it goes sulfur deficient, we've seen 14, even sometimes as much as 20 bushel per acre yield loss. We don't want to see those yellow spots in the field. But 10 pounds of sulfur really seems to get us through to about 100 bushel wheat. And you'd say, well, then that's the, that's the right rate. And yeah, in a field like this, you know, this is great looking wheat. It was planted early. You can see it's got a super stand. And I'm looking at this field saying, boy, I want to see 125 bushel wheat here or 130 bushel wheat. And what we learned last year is that if you're that good a wheat crop, you need more than 10 pounds of sulfur. You need more nitrogen as well to support those big yields. So really we're looking at maybe 15 or even as much as 20 pounds if we're really getting up to those, to those UK wheat yield levels and that's where we want to be. So sulfur in the spring, make sure it's on with the first application or both if you're splitting minimum 10 pounds and I don't care how much manure you have. That's the one other thing we really learned last year is if it's a cool uh, pardon me, a cool backward spring, the manure sulfur doesn't come available early enough. So 10 pounds on everything, even if it has manure and really big wheat crops with no manure, it's 15 to 20 pounds. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Get that sulfur on. <laughs>